Greetings, everyone. It's Chris here to talk about sermon at St. Andrew this week. And as you know, we've been in a Disciples of Christ uh, DNA series. And this week, uh, the sermon title is called We Are a People of Thin Places. And uh, that seems, if you didn't any context for that, that kind of phrase does, means nothing to you. What do, we, meaning we, what do you mean we're people of thin places? Uh, Marcus Borg, who is a well-known author, deceased now, but wrote a book, uh, and in that book he talked about thin places with God, and that is there are times in our life when that veil between our life and God's presence, it's almost like there's no space in between. It's almost there's this thin veil uh, between our connection and, and understanding of the divine in our life. Now in church circles, one of the ways we would think about a thin place might be a sacrament or a holy experience that weds together something highly theological and also something kind of earthy. So as an example, baptism, uh, this moment we're supposed to have this heightened awareness of God's presence in our life is wedded with the experience of water. And so that experience is a powerful experience for people. We wed meaning and value to something physical we can touch and experience. The same would be true for communion. We talk about this moment where God is fully present to us in deep prayer, reflection, and thought, and that experience is blended with juice or wine with bread. And so these moments that we have, we call them sacramental moments or sacred moments, they are wedded with something physical. And so those moments that are these sacramental moments are what Borg would call thin places. Is that somehow the boundaries of God is over there and we're over here, as those experiences, these two entities almost touch or encounter one another. The disciples of Christ have a long history of naming two unique thin places, that, and I've already named them, baptism and communion. What, it is it, what is it about those two experiences that speaks to our life in meaningful ways? And so we will explore both the meaning of baptism and communion. I'll be using a, a unique scripture passage to talk about sacraments, which is an experience that's not sacramental at all, but is a holy experience for the disciples that are following Jesus. There's a passage in the middle of Mark in chapter 9 where Jesus invites what he calls the inner circle of the disciples, Peter, James, and John, and invites them up to a mountain. And when they get to the top of the mountain, Jesus reveals his divine character to them. At that point, he was just another human being that was wise, that did remarkable things. He was out of the ordinary, and yet on this mountaintop, his divinity is revealed to them, and they are they almost don't know what to do with that experience. One of the disciples says, let's set up camp. Let's stay here forever. It can't get better than this. And Jesus says, no, I just wanted you to get a, get a, get a glimpse of what the ultimate of God's presence can be in your life. And we have this hungering for those glimpses, for those moments in our life. And the disciples see the disciples of Christ are nominated. She's the value of those moments to church, to individuals, and to the wider future of what it means to be church. So I hope you join us as we talk about thin places this Sunday.